I am Anil Kumar and now let us continue to understand how to solve exponential equations. This is part 2. In part 1 we learned that if a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of y it basically means that x should be equal to y. So that is the strategy we have applied to solve exponential equations. right? We also learned that a to the power of 0 is, is what and we also learned a to the power of 1 is what? Well, a to the power of 1 is, as you know, a, and anything to the power of 0 is, is 1, right? So these are the few learnings from part 1 of exponential equations. Now, we'll continue and take a few questions which are with different bases. So, so the idea here is to explore when we have different base. So that is the idea. So what I am trying to say here is if my question is 4 to the power of x is equals to 8. So 8 and 4 are different, right? So then what is x, right? If I write, uh, let us say 27 equals to 9 to the power of x. You understand? Both are different bases kind of things, right? Now, uh, we will see how to solve this. And I cannot write 8 as 4 to the power of anything, right? 4 to the power of 2 is 16, not 8, right? Here also, I cannot write 27 as 9 to the power of anything, right? That makes it different from the equations which we had taken up in part 1. So that is how this video is one step uh, higher than what we learned in the previous video, right? So progressively, we will learn more. In the next step, we will do for rational exponents, right? So here, let us explore these types of equations first. Okay, now we have 4 to the power of x equals to 8, but uh, 4 to the power of nothing is 8. Now, how can I solve such an equation? So the trick involved here is, I could write 8 as a uh, 2 to the power of 3. This is what I could do, right? 8 is 2 to the power of 3. And I could actually write 4 as 2 square. So I could write 4 as 2 square, right? So we have, instead of 4, 2 square to the power of x. Now we have managed to have same base because, you know, to solve any exponential equation, we need the same base. So in step 1, we'll try to make, or we'll try to compromise on the base, whichever is possible, get both of them reduced to a base which is same, right? So that is the compromise. So this could be written as 2 to the power of 2. This could be written as 2 to the power of 3. That helps. So now we'll apply the power rule. So we get 2 to the power of 2x. Do you see that? Equals to 2 cube, right? Now that means we have same base 2. Exponent 2x should be equals to 3. So we have 2x equals to 3 and we will solve for x as equals to 3 over 2. You get the idea. So what we get here is a rational exponent x 3 over 2, right? So that is the type of questions which we are going to deal with now, right? I hope you understood these steps. We'll follow these steps and then understand how to solve such equations. Now, 27 as you know can be written as 3 cube. 9 can be written as 3 square. So I'm writing 9 as 3 square, that is to the power of x. Now we will apply the power rule, right? So 3 cube will be 3 to the power of 2x. We have the same base now. Since the base are same, their exponent should also be equal. Therefore, 3 should be equal to 2x. You can now solve for x and x is equal to 3 over 2. So that is the solution. Correct. So that is the process to follow, right? We are getting the same answers, okay? Let's do this one. Now, this 25, as you know, could be written as 5 square, right? 5 square, 25 to the power of x, correct? Equals to, now, 125 is 5 times 5 times 5, that is 5 cube. So again, we get 5 to the power of 2x equals to 5 cube, 2x equals to 3, x equals to 3 over 2, right? So we get x equals to 3 over 2. So that is how we could solve these 
exponential equations where it is difficult to write same base which is given to us so we might have to change the base on both the sides right so in this case what we saw is to change base on both sides and then solve right so that is the strategy to learn I hope this video really explains you in very simple steps how to solve such exponential equations so we'll move on to the next level where we'll take up negative exponents and rational exponents I hope that helps thank you and all the best